Well, we tried cover crops this year. Uh, it's something you can plant in any season, depending on what you're trying to achieve. So there's spring versions, there's fall versions, there's probably summer versions. So we, we put it in the fall uh, for a number of reasons. Whether we'll do it again, I'm not quite sure, but certainly came in nicely. I would say uh, I could probably improve on my raking in. So seems like when I r raked it in it just came in clumps rather than filling in all the places so it definitely has its merits we were going after one particular benefit of it I don't really see it yet but overall people use it for a variety of reasons as you're using spring ones such as this people like it to break up soil uh, it's not really an issue for my soil since it's primarily leaf compost so I've not done anything with this soil and it's already nice free and flowing uh, as it is in the name, it's a, it's a cover crop, therefore it reduces weeds. Uh, and, and that's nice in the spring since you have a, a huge number that pop up trying to get footing throughout the season. But if you have a cover crop, it kind of reduces those uh, that have that advantage. So definitely you see a lot more weeds where you don't see the cover crop. I can't even break this up because it's so dense and the peas are all intertwined. There's definitely still weeds within there, but not as much as is in, in the soil that's free of it. Uh, it does benefit the soil, so the peas uh, and the vetch that are in here are nitrogen fixating. So as the roots are growing, it has little microbes on its roots that puts nitrogen back into the soil. Uh, the it's also nice that it keeps the water in having a free open bed that you have nothing on top uh, it just gives more risk of losing a lot of the water that has accumulated during the, the the winter and spring so I don't like watering that much so this is another way to keep it into the soil even though a lot of these plants are going to grab it up but when you get to the big growers like tomatoes and, and peppers that are going to go far deeper than these uh, there's going to be some there for the taking uh, the, the one thing that we, that at least I wanted out of this, was having uh, a, a combination that would produce flowers that would also attract the bees. Bees are critical for pollination, but it's just as critical to get them to notice early on in the season as they start establishing the routes to find where pollen is. I want them to come here first, so as the hive grows and, and they keep growing that they routinely come here as we get to the other crops that will be growing over here. So this is a mix of oats, peas, and vetch. Uh, I liked having as many varieties in there. I like the increase in biodiversity. I don't like having just a cover crop or something that's just a single entity because that's really not what nature does. Uh, and uh, I don't know if it was eaten. I don't know where it is, but I don't see any of the vetch. So maybe it will slowly start producing, but it's a purple flower uh, that will pop out of this. So it, it has the nitrogen fixating properties, but it also attracts the bees. And unfortunately, we just see a lot of green. So it's about a couple more weeks for this to keep going. It will provide a lot of uh, green for the compost bin. If, if nothing comes of it, you can pick the peas and all that stuff, but I don't really see anything growing on it. So yes, it works. It has its benefits, but I would say it ultimately depends on your application, small gardens, local gardens and uh, stuff you're doing in your backyard. Probably not the best for it. Uh, I like it just in case I have a bed that is not going to be filled with anything um, but I, I think probably going forward once I use whatever I bought I probably won't be using it uh, anymore but it does work it does grow it does fill beds that weren't filled in the spring so it does have some benefit uh, there's a bee in there um, but other than that it really didn't come to the, the fruition of what I anticipated but nonetheless it works 